Hi everyone, it's Kiwi Mikey again with yet another Steelbook opening and review. Um, this is for a very, very highly anticipated Steelbook release, and there was a lot of speculation um, going around about this actual Steelbook, whether or not it would be a jumbo or not. And I'm just going to reveal it now, and this is in a nice play.com packaging again the Alien Anthology Steelbook. Um, for me, first impressions are just taking the cellophane off. First impressions are a little, little disappointing. Um, the artwork itself is very stunning, really, really nice piece. We've got a card slip here, which I'll go talk you through quickly. So you just got a card slip with the eight ratings, so that means that all the rating logos are on the steelbook, leaving it clean. Great news is it's uh, ABC region, so it's region free, and the Blu-ray specifications are for the four films, so this is a vanilla edition. It's only the four discs, not the six. I've got the original six Blu-ray discs as well, um, which I think I would have preferred from a Steelbook, especially because a Steelbook, to me, is more of a special edition. It would have been nice to have myself. I would have rather had a jumbo and had the additional two. I wouldn't have to keep my other then. Anyway, like I said, really, really nice looking Steelbook. The artwork is stunning, really nice, and it's a matte finish to it, but... The, the silver from the Alien and it is, is very, very sharp. It's got a nice sheen to it. And the actual Alien itself has got more like a gunmetal, bullet metal kind of steely look to it. So it is very nice. But sadly, after my um, surprise with... Um, Oh, my mind's gone blank again. <laughs> with my surprise with the Chronicle um, Steelbook they just released, um, it's, it's actually quite disappointing because there's no D-Boss and no M-Boss, and I think this would have made one for one of the sweetest Steelbooks if this was all embossed. I don't know how difficult that would have been, but can you imagine how amazing this would have looked if it was embossed? Even if it was just the alien, if that was debossed or something, at least some embossing on it, you know, it's crying out for it. Again, like I said, the artwork is nice in itself, but... It needed to go that little step further, I think. That's the gold sheen that's coming from my light bulb, so apologies for that. It's not that colour. Um, here's a, the spine for you. So you've got 20th Century Fox at the side. Then you've got Alien Anthology, Aliens, Alien, sorry, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection with a Blu-ray bump at the bottom. On the back, another sad disappointment. You've got all the credits for all the th four films, um, which spoils the artwork, to be honest, doesn't it? Again, a little disappointing because it could have been so much better. I think I would have liked this in a, in a jumbo, to be honest. But anyway, let's move on. Let's open that. Uh, nice to see we got a new swing introduced into the steelbox so we can fit four discs inside. Um, so there's disc one, alien. Disc two is in the swing on the first side. And that's aliens. Reminds me of the X-Men... Um, First, I think one of the releases they had like that kind of swing tray. There's Alien 3. Now, this is why I found tricky. I'm used to lifting my discs from the bottom, but if you notice, the swing gets in the way, so you're going to have to lift it from the top. There's nothing major, to be honest, and I'm more than welcome to accept that if we get an extra space for another disc. So, um, I'll hold the swing trip so you can see better. You've all seen the artwork from Play.com, but here it is in its entirety. Some nice steel, steel art. Uh, you've got the characters in their spacesuits um, surveying the wreckage. It's a nice piece, and to be fair, this steel book, feel, the actual plastic itself feels nice and sturdy, and uh, it's also flexible as well, which I think it needs to have a get, bit of give so it doesn't snap or break, and so it's not brittle. But yeah, so this is the Alien Anthology steel book. Like I said, to look at from a distance it looks amazing but my opinion would be that we should have gone with a jumbo on this one just purely for the additional bonus features which I have with my original um, edition and also like I said a bit of embossing or debossing would have made this a pretty sweet release again it is a nice addition to own and I'm sure they're going to sell in their hundreds and probably thousands as well so I wonder how many prints it was released. Generally about 2,000, but you never know. But yeah, this is the Alien Anthology release. And this Kiwi Mikey signing out. 
check back in very shortly because I'll be reviewing uh, the Wolverine Steelbook which has just arrived alongside this one and like I said I've got Scott Pilgrim and a few others on, really, on order as well so check back thanks for watching subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my steelbooks and I'll see you soon guys okay all the best bye